folks, welcome back. You're with Pewter City Gym. And Misty. And we're going to go ahead and carry on with our playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee today. So we just uh, got done with Lavender Tower here. And we're going to go ahead and talk to Mr. Fuji. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. So, Jim, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. I got the Poke Flute. Nice. Very cool. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. Okay. I love the pictures in the background. You've got yeah. a little Lapras and Cubone, Pikachu. And then a little photo of uh, uh, Starmie back there. Or Staryu, I should say. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice that one. That's adorable. What is this kid what is, cooking? What is this? place here on this island map? Uh, not sure. Don't know. Yeah. Gotta look it up. Oh, need a Reno. Is it Bill? No. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. So, I guess it's to Saffron City. Yep. Alright. Let's head on over. Where'd you go? Where am I? I don't know. You you exited the building and then you weren't there. There, there you are. Go. Okay. What is up? So I think it's this way. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's right. We go through the uh, through the the gatehouse. So what water type would you want to have on the um. team? Like I'm not. I don't know, it's kind of, like, really the only one that's kind of worth having is going to be the Poliwag line, in my opinion, okay. uh, or Lapras. My only thing with Lapras is that it doesn't evolve, so it's not as fun. True. Um, wait, which way? It's this way, I think. Well, we have Squirtle, but I don't want to have, like, you know, the all stereotypical starters. starter team, yeah. All starters all the time. Just let us through already. No way, only authorized members are allowed. I was told to let no one else in. How can you say that when we're on the same side? How rude. You'd deny a beautiful girl what she wants. <laughs> Move it already. Wow. <laughs> she slapped him. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Oh, man. That's terrible. I'll just stand by and let anyone in, I guess. Blarg. <laughs> Looks like he blacked out. Wow, that's impressive. He's, he's standing up while blacked out. That's crazy. I can't do that. All right. Uh-oh. You there. Watch me? Yeah. I have to tell you that our office is a bit of a disaster right now. A real disaster. This is no place for kids. Not when there are so many dangerous people around. Ah, uh, don't be such a stick in the mud. You won't even let us have a little look around. Sub Blue. And Jeffrey. Oh, you're Blue. The Blue. The Blue. <laughs> I love his little ta-da. Jim, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in a place like this? I heard there was a takeover. No surprise. Those Team Rocket goons are causing trouble all over the place. You and me are on the same wavelength, Jeffrey. We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please. That's right. That's right. Come on, it's time we did a little strategy planning. So in short, the plan is this. Jim is going to drive Team Rocket out of Silco just like he planned, but it'd be crazy to try like something like that alone, so Jeffrey is going with him. Right. While you pipsqueaks do that, I'm going to do a loop around all of Kanto, squashing out Team Rocket wherever I find them. 
One of us is sure to find out where their boss is hiding. And while I'm at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League to tell the bigwigs there what's going on. Awesome. Do you think even the Elite Four might come and help us? Maybe. You would think? Maybe? Well, I mean, know? um, what's her name? Uh, Lorelei. Yeah. Helped us with Team Rocket before. So that's the battle plan, guys. Time to split up and put it into action. Heh, <laughs> if only it were that simple. Fact is, there's one more thing we gotta do here first. Jim, Jeffrey, if you want me to leave this place up to you two newbies, then prove that you're up to the task. What? I don't care goes who goes first, so show me what you got. Show me what you got. I'll go first. How is it that you make that sound more like Kami or something from Dragon Ball Z than... Oh, you mean Guru from Dragon Ball Z Abridged? Yeah. Well... No. Show me what you got. <laughs> now that was like one of my favorite Alolan forms. The Executor? Oh, yeah. So for anyone that uh, wasn't here for the last episode, oh, wow, we really should have healed up first, I guess. You think? Don't buzzy buzz it. It's a grass type. I know. Double edged it. Uh, I guess. Yeah. I'm already hurt. Um, yeah, we'll dip out of here after this battle and, and go to the center. Um, yeah, last episode we were talking about Lolan forms and which ones we would, which ones we liked, which ones we would, you know, oh, snap. Well. Well. That happened. Sure did. Gee whiz. Ouch. Okay, um, I will bring in... Licorice? Licorice, yeah. Sure. He's got advantage. Because you know what we do around here? We put the lime in the coconut and drink them both up. Do we have like a full restore or something? I don't know if we have a full restore. Uh, no. No. Okay. We, have, we have individual things to heal. All right. Well. Do we have any revives? I don't know. I suppose it do doesn't really matter check? like... Yeah, well, it's up to you. Oh, yeah, you know what? We should get a revive. Yeah, so that Twinkie gets the XP. Right. If we have any. I don't know that we do. There's a revive. Perfect. We, have exactly we got one. one. Nice. So we want to use that and uh, make sure get that we get one. the XPs. Yeah, I mean, we got like a whole bunch of money, so we should be fine. Nom. All right. Good job, Hershey. Now, the other water type that we could do, I think that you can catch Eevee in this game, or we could do a Vaporeon. Uh, I don't know. I, I always feel weird about having multiple evolutions on my teams. Oh, and already it cured itself of the paralysis. Fantastic. Oh, he's got a Charizard. See? Yep. Uh, let's see. Let's super fang it first. Good idea. Buzzity buzz. Heat wave. Oh, it's like Southern California. <laughs> oh, come on now. Well, at least, uh... That's super effective, and at least super fang is not, uh, hindered by... The burn? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh, nice. nice. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and do crunch. I don't think I'll I'll get... Oh, okay. That works. Let's go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. He only has two of his team. Yep. He's gonna win. And I never really uh, associate Blue with Charizard. I gotta be honest. Because of uh, Generations, I always think of Blue with a Blastoise. Yeah. Exactly what I'd expect from a Pallet Town trainer. Oh, man. So you really are ready for Team Rocket. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. Then you're next, Jeffrey. Come at me. I'm just getting warmed up. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Let's right. go get. Wow, look at how pretty that fountain is. Oh, hey. Look at that. I like the seating. 
Oh, yeah. Can we sit down on it? I don't think so. No. Hey. No. They removed that quality of life feature from uh, X and Y. I'm so bummed about that. I don't know why, but I... And it serves no purpose in the game, like, whatsoever. I, I, I realize this. But I love stupid stuff, like being able to sit down on a chair. Right. Um, or, you know... Um, oh, one of the, you can still do this, but I remember one of the other things that they introduced in, in X and Y that I loved was that when you were talking to a little kid or a smaller Pokemon, your character would actually crouch down to be on their level. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay, so we don't want to do a Vaporeon. We don't want to... Uh, ooh, we don't want to um, trade in a, a Poliwhirl or Poliwag. Let's check the Pokemon box. Sure. See what else we might have. Uh, let's see. Bag. Pokemon box. So, in terms of water types, what do we got? We got... Uh, Psyduck. Psyduck. Psyduck's one of those ones that needs, like, a little more love. Right. We got Psyducks. We got, uh, again, we got Squirtle, but I don't really want to do that. Wow, is Psyduck and Squirtle really the only two water types that we have? Yeah. I guess we haven't really gotten any fishing rods or anything recently. It's... I think it's just the old rod, and you didn't want to buy the Magikarp from the uh, the guy under Mount Moon, I remember. Yeah, I'm not a fan of buying. <sighs> See, I like to, I always one. buy the Magikarp. I always do it. Okay. That sounds we'll, like something you would do. We'll just go to, uh, back up to the to the self code. We won't worry about swapping the, the team right now. Okay. Um, am I too far up? Yeah, I'm too far up. I think it was back down here. Um... Wait, yes, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why. I always I always enjoy buying the uh, the magic art. I guess that's just you. Are they still battling? Are they done battling? I guess they're still battling, but what are we doing? can We're going upstairs. Yeah. Right. I'm right here. All right. Let's thwart this corporate takeover. Is that a warp panel? I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it's a warp panel. Let's explore this floor first. Hey, kid, what are you wandering here for? I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> my, dad, my dad works here, and, and I was at the cafeteria, and... Uh, uh, the, this mean lady with pink hair told me that she wanted all the candy. She... I know I don't know where my dad is. Oh, break, break. Double. This poor Radicate. It's like ah, I'm scary, and it's like nope, not even a little bit. Ooh, nice. Very cool. Oh, even uh, Twinkie gives a little look over her shoulder when uh, when she does a super effective attack now. That's awesome. Yeah. But did you see me? Did you see what yeah. I did? I did a good thing, right? Right, Dad? <laughs> We're so close Dude, to Dude, they Charizard. got a nice lounge. They really do. God, we should be working there. Right? So last week we were, or last uh, episode, we were talking about uh, Alolan forms and which Kanto Pokemon, you know, the the scenario was, you know, they were going to do one more. We work at Game Freak, like, which which one are we going to uh, to pick? I had a couple ideas. Misty had a couple ideas. Let, let's let move the conversation on. What, uh, what Galarian forms would you do? And you're not limited to the first 151. Were there any Pokemon where you looked at it and you were just like, you know what? This would make a perfect candidate for a Galarian form. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Galar region. Honestly, I was surprised that they didn't have um, 
the Litlio line as a Galar form. Mm. Being that, you know, they're, you know, oops, why did I do that one? <laughs> I don't know. That's um, okay. Being that, you know, they're they're like the whole heraldry thing, and they mm -hmm. had, um, you know, the It's the on so many, ponyta. like, uh, it's yeah. on so many crests. Oh, yeah. come on, dude. Uh, at least it wasn't shiny. Uh, yeah. Um, it didn't really hurt us that bad. No, it didn't, but it's still always annoying. It is. That was like the thing that would happen way too often in the, uh, the electric, uh, the electric plant. Oh, yeah, with the Voltorbs? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Voltorbs and electrodes. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say we need a Galarian form uh, Litleo mm -hmm. line to match the hair. Yeah, I, I actually really, uh, I, I agree with that heartily, wholeheartedly. Um, and especially because, like, you know, I'm assuming that Galar is, is fairly close to Kalos. And yeah, Litleo shows that's... up in Kalos, like, yeah. So no, I uh, I definitely agree with that. I was almost uh, kind of surprised that we didn't get a um, a Galarian uh, Dratini line. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, because you have like Saint George and the Dragon, and actually there's also like we're talking about like the crests and heraldry and stuff. Like there's a lot of uh, you know English uh, iconography that's based around like dragons too. And keeping you know, in mind, growing up in the colonies, um, I was surrounded by, like, a lot of uh, British culture. I, I'm i kind of surprised we didn't end up with um, some kind of uh, gargoyle Pokemon. Um, like, maybe a, yeah. a version of Dredigan or something. Right? I, You know, and I think... Um, oh, man, I don't remember who did it. Oh, I, I know that I know that, that someone has done a... Um, a gargoyle based dread again. It might have been True Green Seven um, for for the Asone region, um, but I know that that there is a, a gargoyle based dread again out there um, that I've seen on YouTube. So no, definitely a, a good idea. Ooh, oh, no. Twinkie, don't it's cry. Okay. It's okay. I'll heal you. It's fine. Um, super potion. I think that'll be enough. Bloop, there you go. And then, like, Swana needed to, uh, could have done a Galarian form, like, in a black. Ooh, like, uh, Black Swan? Yeah. The the ballet? I don't know if that's an English ballet, Well, though. no, 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 not, not necessarily the, the ballet sort of oh, thing. Oh, okay. But, like, you know, the whole thing where, like, the queen owns all the swans. That's true! I would forgotten about that. You're good. Oh, man, what happened to your glasses, bro? Dude, we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> like our Eevee just like kicked his face in for him. <laughs> like, wow, that was not our fault. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm gonna go ahead and drop another super potion on sure. um, for Twinkie there. Uh, let's see there, and we get one to Hershey as well. Let's see, do you want to keep battling with Hershey, or do you want to pull out a different Pokemon? We've also got uh, Jelly Roll and Gumball both at level 36 as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's bring Gumball out. I, I miss... It feels... Yeah, it's been a while, I think. Gumball. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's take him out of the Pokeball as well. Sure. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. There we go. Take it up. Aww. Oh, wait. Where did Twinkie go? I, I don't, don't know. know. It's fine. 
<laughs> okay, so wait, we've we've been all through this area. Let's. Uh, I guess we'll try the warp panel. Well, up there's closest. a warp panel down here, and then there's a warp panel up there. Yeah, I'm gonna try the one closest to the entryway first, then work my way. Sure. Whoa. Backwards. Whoa. Did you see me flying up the corner? Yeah. What was that? I think that was like a little graphical glitch because you were running and I jumped on the thing. Oh, there's a person. This is as far as you'll go. I somehow doubt it, buddy. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you. Sorry to break your glasses. <laughs> like the other guy. <laughs> oh, a ghastly. Oh, this no. guy's been to Lavender Town. Actually, not the greatest for... Uh, for poor old uh, Gumball there, potentially. Yeah, it's okay. Gonna go with Metronome? Yeah, why not? It's risky. Why it's not? a little risky. Let's fine. let's, let's do it. Let's happens. do it. Ouch. Oh no, my endocrine system. Yeah. That's gumball. Alright, gumball. Pull out something epic, buddy. You can do it. Cut. It, oh wow. Wop wop. Oh wow, well, but it purged itself of the poison, so. All of our Pokemon love us. Uh, this looks just pretty rough. I mean, honestly, it could have been anything because the Dragon Rage would finish it off. You could have done uh, Pound or whatever we have up there. Oh, uh, that's true. Oh, well. Oh, wow, this guy must be the boss's favorite. He's got a Persian. Right? The boss. Boss. A body slam is what we got there. Eh. We will blast you with the powers of the moon. Faint. I nice. broke that brick. Still love the animation for this move. It's so pretty. Just as epic as ever. Bing. All right, level 36. That should be Charizard, guys. We got a Charizard in here. Yay. Hopefully, if I'm remembering rightly, I think I am. Yeah, yeah. baby. Let's go. Time to grow up. Whoop, whoop. Ah, beautiful. I love it. Zard. So cool. Yeah. And yes, guys, I'm aware. Charizard's overrated. I know. Yay. I love it anywhere. It's I not that it it's anywhere. overrated. It's just, it's the Pikachu of the starters. It's in <laughs> everything. When this Pokemon expels a blast of super hot fire, the red flame at the tip of its tail burns more intensely. All right. Oh, we're going to learn to move. Wing, Wing attack. attack. Yes. We're going to go over uh, the normal type move there. We're going to go over growl. Because I don't see us using that very often, you know? Grrr. Grrr. Grr. You know, it's kind of a bummer that Charizard never gets intimidate as a uh, as a hidden ability. Like, that That would be cool. That would uh, let's be see. cool. There's a the thing there. Well, we Wait, does it, it heal your Pokemon? Can you heal your Pokemon up there? It looks like it should, right? I mean, there are clearly Pokeballs in there. It's like six Laprases. Swing. Okay, let's see. Wait, this is the... Oh, okay, this is the room that we were in before. Uh. Okay. So, can't go there. Let's see, don't want to go there. I feel like that's the one that we came up from. Oh, jeez, I got lost in one. Uh-oh. Hang on. Misty? Misty, there where are you? Go. There you are. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy. Hello? self has been taken over. I guess this is the end for us. Wow. 
Yeah, that's fine, buddy. Just let this 10-year-old take care of it all for you. you. You just sit there and relax. Wouldn't want you to trouble yourself. You know what? It's probably just a dead-end job. <laughs> he's like, you know what? Like don't the, pay me enough for this. He's like the unpaid intern. Like, well, I guess if I had a salary, I'd care. I'm one of the four Rocket Sisters. Oh, wow, okay. They used to be the Rocket Brothers. Now they're the Rocket Sisters. Sure. Why not? And she just looks like the regular grunt, which is fine. These Team Rocket grunts are, are neat looking. All right, first battle is a Charizard, baby. And we still only have Ember. <laughs> uh, I guess we could have looked through our little TM yeah. assortment, but oh well. Ugh. God, that must feel gross. Right? What? Disabled body slam. Okay. Lame. I mean, I guess. Uh, let's try wing attack. Sure. That's new. Do metronome. Do metronome. Just uh, to say. Metronome? Just to say. Do a metronome? I don't know if, uh, if we'll get to do either one, but... No. no. Okay. Oh, I just wasted a metronome. Sorry. When we face Giovanni again, it's like all metronome. Oh, that would be funny. Wait a second. Oh, because sometimes it can be... Use guillotine. Guillotine. Uh, oh, that would have been hilarious. Yeah, that would have. Um, I guess because metronome can sometimes pull out, like, buff attacks um, to, you know, to increase your stats and whatnot. So it kind of makes sense that it got to go and it didn't fail. No, it's still it's still going to go. Yeah. All right. Guillotine again. Come on. Twice in a row. Vice grip. Vice grip. Not that effective. <laughs> the animation on that. Oh, come Aww. on, dude. It's so silly. She's like, if I'm going down, I'm taking you both with me. And it's like, no. 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 You didn't. You're not going to. Sis, no, don't give me a timeout. <laughs> that's adorable. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, that's to go up. I guess, do you want to do that or do you want to try the warp panel? Oh, oh you, there you are. Catching up. Uh, let's see. Sure. No, I think, I think you're right. I think this is the warp panel yeah, that we, we came, came in on. Much. Okay, so we don't want to do that. We want to just use the stairs. Let's see, let's see. Okay. She went on the Rocket Sisters too? Yes, she is. I'm one of the four Rocket Sisters, and I'm the oldest. Mm-hmm. Well, tell your other three that you know. That what, Misty? Well, I don't know. That, you know. That, that we're coming? Yeah. There you go. Yes. That. <laughs> okay. Exactly that. We pulled it out at the last second. All right. Brick break. Metronome, go on. Ah. Uh. Not everything's metronome. <laughs> I just find metronome so funny. Yes, please. Oh, who knows? That was That's a critical crit. hit, though. Ooh, meanie. And actually, yeah, isn't play rough a fairy type move? It is. It shouldn't have been. Well, wait a second. Is fairy. Is fairy super effective on fairy or not very effective, or is it just neutral? I guess it must I just be neutral. Yeah, it should have just been standard, but it was a critical hit. Yeah. I'm the oldest, yet you beat me. Yeah, now go put your sister in a timeout, <laughs> apparently. Right? Uh, let's see. So... I uh, can't go there. I got lost again. I don't know how you keep doing it. There we go. Uh, because it seems like no matter how fast I run, I'm always a little behind you. This is oh, the guy who's going to be like, ha, you thought I was I worked here, but in fact, yep. I'm not. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. What? No. Well, I don't know about that, buddy. I don't know. You keep your hammer to yourself, bud. 
What is that? Yeah, see, his glasses, his glasses are not broken here. But my question is, what is that goop all over his coat? Science goop. Science goop, yeah. Science goop. Yeah, you know, science goop. I don't know. It's about it's that. the thing that they put in the in the test tubes and the beakers when they're doing the science. I don't know about that all science goop. Psy beam? What the See this guy's a real scientist. He taught his his wheezing how to do psy beam. Wow, that did nothing. Wow, yeah. Uh I didn't even get like Else metronome, else? metronome, metronome. Fine. I love it. Psybeam again. What even is going on here? Right? Just because it's got two heads doesn't mean that it's got, like, more brain power. Bodies. <laughs> well. <laughs> So much for that. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not uh I'm not asking for metronome anymore, Gumball. It's okay, buddy. You do whatever you want. Oh man. That was crazy. Oh god. I ugly laughed. I might have to I might have to edit that out. No. <laughs> It's just so like, no, don't use body slam. Gumbo's like, no, I'm going to use body slam. Don't you tell me what to do. The stars have aligned, and I'm using body slam. My favorite move. Yeah, just, just let him do what he likes. You know, he knows what he wants. I just don't see a point in wasting no <laughs> there. Okay, what terrible Pokemon does he have now? Electrode. What is this thing going to have? It's going to have, like, uh, Grass Knot? Yeah, Fire Blast? What do, you, what do you got for us, guy? <laughs> Screech. You know, the funny thing about that is that it actually closes its mouth to attack, so it it's not, like, actually yelling. Yeah. Reflect. Come on. Yeah, so that we've got a wall to jump out from behind to do body slams. <laughs> oh, actually, that was a that was a. Hold on one second. Can I go back? Yeah, there we go. I don't want to do wing attack. That was a that was a poor choice. There we go. Speaking of poor choices. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Your electro knows thunderbolt. How basic. Oh. Now, wasn't it in Gen 1, Voltorb and Electrode were like an electric type that couldn't learn? They didn't learn any... Um, wow, it learned Growl. Or use used Growl. Um, they didn't use or learn any um, electric moves naturally. You had to use a TM. Yeah. Um, so that, that was the deal there. It was weird. Yeah. I just remember that being a thing. Oh, uh, I don't know if there's a point in doing a uh, dig. Well, I guess so. I was just going to say, you might finish it off with whatever you do next. I doubt it. Yeah, you screech to lower physical defense, then it used Thunderbolt, which, you know, makes no sense. I don't know. And still... Still one. I mean, I don't know why I'm I'm uh, talking smack. Like I'm the guy who's Pokemon fainted. So, acid armor. Wow, Gumball, you are uh, you're pulling out all the plays today, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, he is. <laughs> so bulky, though. Slap. There we go. Okay, I feel like we need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, for real. Well, actually, wait a second. Isn't there a spawn in here that has beds and whatnots? Yeah. I think so, yeah. We'll, we'll just search around for that. 
But I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode anyway. We're not going to be able to finish Self-Co in one, one episode. Oh, gosh, no. You still got more Pokemon? Ember. Wow. <laughs> in honor of uh, poor Twinkie. Yeah, he's okay. got one more Pokemon. All right, dig it is. Whee. Dig, Doug. I might as well. <laughs> okay. It's worked so well for us so far. <laughs> wow, that quick attack actually did, like, not, you know, massive amounts of damage, but more than you would expect. Yeah, it definitely did some decent uh, work there. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's got to be a critical weight. No, it wasn't. Fury, Fury swipes. swipes! Yay! I just... <laughs> Wow. Wow, I'm getting uh, flashbacks of... Uh, just use Play Rough. Please. Gosh darn it. <laughs> um, I'm getting flashbacks of uh, Buddy and uh, my Pearl run through. It's like, okay, Bullet Seed. It hit twice. Great going. Great going, little friend. Yeah. See, we did smash his glasses, Misty. What did you do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Oh, come on. Let's see what kind of prizes uh, we have here. Okay. Three great balls. It's kind of cool that they can be on a shelf. Like, I don't know. Three Pokeballs. Okay. Ooh. Let's, uh... Shrink. Okay, we'll see what's in this room. Like, what's, what's over here. And then we'll, we'll end the episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember this teeny tiny little corridor. And we got a nugget. I think that's one of the other Rocket Sisters, but we're going to save her for the next episode. Hey, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We both really appreciate it. Uh, from Pewter City Gym. And Misty. We're wishing you a happy couple days, and we will see you soon. Uh, until then, take care. Bye. Bye.